Hey guys, Super Silverstone here. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a data pack for Minecraft. This will be an empty data pack, but I want to show you how. You can do this inside of Notepad, but for further development, I recommend using an IDE like Notepad++ or VS Code, which will be linked below. Before we start, what is a data pack? A data pack is a pack that you can make to add specific features to the game, like resource packs. These include adding new advancements, loot tables, structures, tags, recipe, predicates, dimensions, entities, functions, and more. All of these things that you can add to the game, and you can change vanilla game. To make your pack, first what you're going to do is you're going to create a new folder. You can call, call this whatever you want. I'm going to call it data pack. This is where your data pack is going to be stored, and this file is what you're actually going to put into your data pack saves folder. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to open it up, and if you're on Windows 11, you're going to see this little view icon at the top, and you're going to see this little show button. You're going to click it, and make sure that file name extensions is has a little check mark. It's on. So that means when you create a file, you'll see what file it is. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to create a text doc, right? When you make your so you're going to call this pack.mcmet, but you're going to remove the .txt from it. It's going to say, do you want to change the file extension? You're gonna, yes. And now you should see under type, it says mcmeta file, right? Next to it, you're going to create a folder called data. It's just data, lower all lower cases, no spaces, data. On the inside, you're going to create another folder called Minecraft, just like that, all lower cases, no spaces. And you're going to create your namespace. And this is an identification that Minecraft will use to separate your pack from another pack of the same name or of the same types of things on the inside. I want to call this tutorial. Uh, you're going to want something related to your pack, something that has any. Next, you're going to go into your pack.mc meta, just like this, and we're going to create pack. Here is what it will look like. This is, you can copy and paste it from the description, but if you can't, what you're going to do is open and close the set of curly brackets, and then you're going to open up some more quote and pack on the outside colon, and then you're going to open up some more bracket, just like this, and then you're going to have quote pack underscore format with quotes and then a colon on the end, and then you're going to have a number comma to go to this line and then you're going to have quote description just like that with a colon on the end and then you're going to go that in more quote just like this and this is where your description is going to be just like that and then you're going to have your extra closing bracket All right so that's how you actually type it out um First, we're going to look at, this is the description. This is used to tell Minecraft, or actually not Minecraft, but the player what your pack is. So this is what decides uh, for the player when reading it what it is. And then here we have pack underscore format. If you go to misho.github.io slash versions linked in the description, you can see what version coordinates to what number. So 5 might be 1.16, 7 might be 1.18, 9 might point, you know. So it changes based on the snapshots like that, and you can do that through misho.github.io slash version. So once you're done with that, you can exit and save it, and you're done with your data pack. You're finished. Your pack has been created. It won't do anything, but it will at least load in-game. Check out my series called Data Pack Creations to learn how to make it actually do something. This video is used as a short way to explain the basics of a data pack without me having to explain it in any future video. It saves time. Thanks. So this is where the copyright free music would play, but I don't have any of that right now. So I just wanted to tell you that my mini game event is really cool. It's called Block Bash. Uh, you can check it out with the video. Uh, so I think it's the newest on my channel. It's really cool. Um, you should check it out. Okay, thanks. Bye.